Good afternoon colleagues, I'd like to show you what I was anticipating to do on the 23rd of October. I'm going to be showing you a lesson that involves creating an activity using Text Toolkit, which is one of the tools in Purple Mesh. It's found in the English section. So you're going, to act, you're going to access it through the home screen over here and you're just going to click on this English button and I'm just going to select a bit of text that I'm going to bring into the activity. So I'm going into just my Google Docs and I'm just selecting any text that I've written over here and I'm going to a website called Rewordify. It's a very useful website. I'd like you to take note of it. I'm going to paste it as plain text. Click on this button, Rewordify text. And you'll see over here, I'm going to do parts of speech. And you can see straight away that the nouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositions, articles, interjections are all shown. It's giving me those. And then I'm going to open my tools. And that will be in the English section, in the language activity and categorizing parts of speech. And I'm going to open and launch app to get access to this. And you can see this is a closed procedure. And I want to set the timing that every single level, it will take them two minutes. Children will interact with it for two minutes. They've got two minutes to do the activity. I just wanted you to see Rewordify because it's showing us all the nouns over here. I'm going to copy the first sentence and bring it into my Purple Mash activity. Paste as plain text. We could go back to Rewordify and take out a particular part of speech. In this example, I just show the nouns that are selected. The whole idea being to take out the nouns out of this first sentence. I could take all the grey selections and make them the missing answers in my Purple Mash activity. Taking out all the grey parts and using them as the answers. I just want to show you how to add in some trick words. So you click over here on the plus sign and then you can add in a whole lot of other words that would be in addition to the actual answers. I've just simply selected, I'm doing Purple Mash, click on Use Word. I select the word and clicking on that button shows that it's now allocated as an answer. So let's return to Rewordify. It's very useful for a language teacher and we're just going to explore a little bit around there. I'll select the second sentence and bring that into my closed procedure. I'm just going to press copy by Control and C and Control and V and I'm just selecting the words here, clicking on use words, 21st century, use words and those are going to all be answers in my closed procedure going up to level three and we'll select the third sentence for that as well so level three is coming up select it con gonna go copy and we'll paste it in the usual way and yeah i'm just going through the same procedure so i'm going to select idea teachers and add use word and we're just going through that and we post, I want to show you how to post this task for your learners so that your learners can actually do it. And we'll just set a time limit for each of the levels as well while we do that. So if you go here, you can set it. I'm going to put it down to one minute. So I'm giving them one minute to do each level. Go to save and exit. And you'd have to choose, this opens the work folders. And you'll have to name your file appropriately. So you'll have to give it a very good name. I'll call it grade five, creativity, purple mesh, PM, purple mesh. I'm just going to save it to the default folder, but I'd suggest that you allocate it to a class folder. And here are my files. And most of them you can see are language examples. So I've got a whole lot of things that are related to English. Now I'll show you how to allocate the activity to a class. And that's called setting a to-do. And you'll see here we've got where we fill in all the details around that and we can read as we go through this activity. We give a description, try to do this activity by filling in an answer and here you're going to just describe what the activity is about and after you've done that you can even record on the red button over here and you can set the date let's add in the time given to do this activity we have a drop down with a date control you can just select the date that they can start and the date that they can end with that and we're going to allocate it to class and we'll go with grade 5 classes to all the grade 5 5a and all these check boxes are assigning to those particular classes now the to do has been set 
I'm going to show you word spot, which categorizes words into parts of speech, and I'm going to be using nouns, verbs, adjectives in rewordify. And this button takes us to text toolbox. It gives us access to word spot, launch app, and here we've got nouns, adjectives, verbs, and so forth. All of them are there for us. So let's go and we go back to rewordify, and we're going to copy the first sentence. So that's the first sentence, and let's select the first sentence, and we're going to paste it into Purple Mash. You can assign all the nouns as answers, as you can see in rewordify. We'll assign all the nouns, idea, Purple Mash, plus sign, development, is a plus, creativity tool and we go on the plus sign we got all these from rewordify all our answers are grayed out on the top line i'm just going to add in learning with the plus sign a further answer there go back to rewordify and i'm now going to look at the verbs here we've got all the verbs that are shown in red they indicated for us and we can see what they are go back to our purple mash and bring them in as answers on the verb section and you can see they also read here so that matches with rewordify running contributes promotes plus sign and use those are our verbs it would have been a lot more difficult had we not had rewordify let's look at adjectives and we've got the, them indicated in blue and that also matches up with purple mash we've got underlying and active and we click on the plus signs and now we can move on to the next level which will be our second sentence in rewordify so i'm just selecting it and copying it bring it into purple mash we're going to right click and we're going to paste it as plain text you can see they all indicate in blue and we got positive aspect a, a paradigm 21st century but i don't think i'll use that one so we've got positive aspect and we can go with that and let's look again a paradigm 21st so we're looking at the adjectives here a paradigm a paradigm kids won't know this one and 21st century i'm not going to really put in 21st so i'll leave that one out we'll just go with positive aspect and a paradigm on second thought i'm going to take 21st let's put it in so we have those three adjectives and now we're going to go to the nouns so we're going to deactivate adjectives and the nouns are in gray we've got a whole lot of them and just going to select that's the second sentence a that model teachers tools and deficiencies oh century okay so we've got a whole lot of nouns over here that we're going to use as our answers in the noun section so we'll bring those in shift model Let's just have a look again and we've got the verbs in red again we could have made this a lot easier if we had just selected the second sentence and rewordified it so there is a quicker way of doing this but if we go to the verbs we've got thought which is a verb we've got should be is a verb promoted to fit and we could go to the next level and rewordify can bring us to the third sentence we really aren't doing it the way we should that we should have probably just done what i've suggested in the last bit but i'm just doing it this way i think you've got the hang of how this all works so you should have some idea of how to do it and when you want to save your game you just go there save and exit the red button will take you that and again you've got all your work folders just give it an appropriate folder i'm going to call it sample for teachers and we'll just save it in my default folder save and it should be found over here so you see my work folder and if i click over there you'll see these are my subfolders staff training and you've got sample for teacher over here that's our file i can open it and you can see this is indicating if you want to make any editorial changes i can even add with this i over here to the beginning um, i would just change my timing so at every level we'll give the children about two minutes that should be adequate and over here you click a description but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to go out of that and we could save it again so i'm assuming that you just know what i'm doing and you're quite clear on all that's been done you can refer to some of my other videos if you want to 
get an understanding of how to lay tasks and how to look at the children's work and how to even extract marks. There's a lot there for you to look at. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been pretty brief, but I hope it's get, got you a little bit more interested in using Purple Mash in your classroom teaching and doing it in terms of projects, which is a wonderful opportunity to do. I'm going to end off with some artificial intelligence music that we made in using Duke Deck. You can try it out for yourself and showing you some of the artworks done by our learners using Purple Mash. I hope that you enjoy it and thank you very much for watching this video and we urge you to subscribe. Mm -hmm.